Hello, my viewers. I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you on how you can create a bar bending schedule in Revit. Now, Revit has the capability to create a bar bending schedule according to any code, according to any region or office standard, wherever you are. What is important is for you to just pick the fields that you want to use for the bar bending schedule and you can customize it according to your needs. In this lesson, we are going to use, you know, the Eurocode or the BS standard as an example. As you can see, this is more similar to Eurocode and BS standard, okay? But as I've mentioned, you are able to create, if you just follow in this lesson, you're able to create a bar bending schedule according to your needs or according to your office standards, okay? So now I just want to ask all of you, if you like what I do on this channel, please, you do well to subscribe to this channel turn on the bell notification, that way will motivate me to do more and more tutorials. And I just want to indicate that if there's anyone who'd like to learn, you know, Revit in a course, both structure and architectural, check the links in the description. Obviously, you'll be interested in some of the courses that I've developed. So let me not waste time. Let's get started in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do before I start explaining how I created this permitting schedule, I just want to show you how you can create your own, which fields you can pick so that and how you can edit. Of course, you are not going to find the fields, you know, the way it is on top here. I'll show you on how to do it so that you customize it according to your needs. All right. So to create a bar bending schedule, it's very simple. You just need to go to uh, view. Then you go to schedules and then you simply need to create to, to click there on the schedules and quantities. Once you click, once you click there, all you need to do is now to just pick now the category from here. Of course, for a bar bending schedule, we know that it's riba. So I just need to find the structure riba right here. It should be somewhere here. Let me find it. Structure riba right there, as you can see. Then just click on OK. All right. Once you do that, you see that the category will even appear here, okay? And from here, you can even start now adding the fields that you want. I'll do it once more. Go to view, then go to schedules and quantities, okay? Then once you click there, you see that you can find, you know, the structure riba there, okay? As I mentioned, just go down there and select on it. So it will show, I wanted to show the name here. You can type the name the way you want or you can maintain it the way it is and then just click OK. Now from here, you can see that we have the structure riba that we have selected. Then you can start adding the fields that you want. For example, if you want to, to, to show the bar diameter, you can add it there. If you want to show other things like maybe it's up to you entirely it's up to you bar diameter if you want to show the bending detail you can show it here sorry i just removed it you add it there then i can go down there if i want to show the count i can add it there if i want to show many many other things like maybe the bar length i can add it there okay if I want to show the bending detail, I can do that. And you can see that we have so many fields available from here. And make sure that you are on the structure riba and you are able to pick whatever you want from here. You hook at the end, you can show it. The host count, very important for me. All right. The host category, I can add it. And maybe if I now want to show maybe the riba number, okay, that is the bar mark, you can add it from there. All right, the enforcement volume, I just want to show that we have so many things appearing here. In my case, I can also add the comment because the comment is the one I'll show for my revision because I just need to type it here. I can show it now from here. You can now, you know, arrange these things by moving up and down. I'll go back to this one and explain how I created this one and which fields that I use. But I want to show you how you can add it here. You know, you can move, for example, if you want to show the bar mark, okay, as the, or maybe the bar diameter, the first one, the count, the second one. If I want to move this riba number, which is the bar mark in Revit, the riba number is the bar mark. So I'll just, you can just move it up there just like that. All right. If I want to show the comments at the end or whatever. So this is how I can play with this one. And once I'm happy with the fields that I've selected, you can just click on OK. And you see that you are going to have your bar bending detail, your bar bending schedule, just like this. 
Now, for those who have never created one, you see that this is how your bar bending schedule will appear once you create it. And when you place it on your sheet, that's when you are going to see it like this. So don't worry. I just showed you how you can create. You add your fields and create your bar bending schedule. Now I'll close this one and I want to show you how I created this one. I'll select on this one and let me just go to, okay, I'll go to this one. I'll go back to this one. All right, let me try to double click. Is it going to open? Actually, it's opening by just double clicking. So now from here, I want to show that if I, I have a number of fields here, and again, if you want to go back to the fields, which we are loading, you can just need to come here. You have the fields, the filter, sorting and grouping, formatting, appearance. From here, you are able to go to the same view that I just, you know, closed. If I just click on edit, you can see that you are back here. And this is, these are some of the field that I added. So you can even copy if you're using something similar to this. Now I'll place it here. You see that the partition, I've just renamed this one to, you know, to, partition as member the host count you have renamed to number of members so this i just renamed otherwise the fields that i'm using are right here the quantity number of bars in each you know type and size you can see it's there bar length okay length of each that is how i've named it total number is there bar mark as a ribbon number the shape, okay, the shape code, it's here. And if you want now to show the, the dimensions for your ribeye, you can add those dimensions and adjust, you know, changed, you know, you had to customize it by just retyping it and it will appear like that. Okay, now for the comment, that is the revision and the bending detail, that is the one which is here. All right, now you notice that we have the reinforcement volume and the total weight. This is a calculated parameter and it's the one which is appearing on my schedule. So I'll just close it, you know, as you can see now, you notice that if I go back here, this is how I've renamed my, you know, my fields here. If I go back there, you, you just need to, you know, to change from here and you're able to rename it. If I want to say maybe to change to capital letters, I can just change. Okay, so this is how I was able to change all these things, the headings, but all in all, what is that, what is there are just the fields that you can see from here. All right, so you can add any field that you want to use, but for me, these are enough, and that's how I create my bar bending shade. So now how do we place it? You notice that for every 2024, we have this field. If I just go there, we have the last field, which is called the bending detail. I just picked it here and added here. So let's see how you can place the bending, you know, bar bending schedule on your sheet. I'll just close it. And I don't want to use this one. I'll go to this one. And the bar bending schedule that, that I've just created is this one. I'll just drag it on the sheet. Okay. And just place it somewhere here. Let's see what is going to happen. There's one feature that I want to show you. You see that it's quite a huge bar bending schedule. And this one is picking everything from my, my model, from my 3D model, the entire project. Now, there's one thing I want to show you. In Revit 2024, you are able to filter this one to just show the bar bending schedule as in the element that you've placed on your sheet. So I'll click click on it, or before I even click, I can just go to, I just need to open now this bar bending schedule. I can just double click it. Okay, we are right here, then go to fields. And we have a specific field. If you go to filter, you have the filter by sheet. I'll just click on it and click on okay. Now, if I go back to my sheet, you notice that it's just going to filter according to what is just placed on the on the sheet. Now I'm even lost. I don't know which one I'm working on. All right, I think it's this one. Yeah, correct. It's this one because for this one, I haven't added. Okay, it's this one. So I can select on it and simply drag it right here, as you can see. So it has just filtered, you know, what I'm seeing on the sheet, you know. And for this one, I just need now to add the, if you check the other one I was just showing you, it has a bending detail. But for this one, let me also add it, All right? This one here, I guess I have to close this one. So you can see that it has just filtered. That is the member, number of members, and everything is looks perfect. But I just need to add, you know, the 
the bar bending detail at the end and again i can just double click there okay it's open here and i can go to you know to let me just click outside and i can just click any of the fields here by clicking on edit and just go to filter you know it's filter by sheet and if i go to fields i can find the bending detail from here and simply add it let me find it here bending detail right there i'll add it and you see that it's at the end there if i click on okay let's see if you are going to have the bending detail and you see we have it right there at the end now i'll go back to this view and you see that the bar bending detail has been added as i said this is not customized meaning that i can make it bold and i can do whatever i want with this one the last field as you can see from here so i can double click from here to open this one in this view and i can just drag there and from here you can see i can rename it i can make it bold and do whatever i want or change the name i can do that so if i just click on font there let me just close this one i click on board okay this one will be bold and once i go to my sheet everything is okay as you can see let me go back here and you see that the bending detail you know is okay now you can see from here i can you know the font doesn't look good i can just click on it and maybe resize it from image rows okay let me just change to image rows and if i want maybe i think it's still changing i'm able to change you know the size of the text and everything there so if i want to make this one maybe i want to make it maybe smaller maybe if i put 10 there click on apply let's see what will happen if this will be okay now oh i guess i have to make it bigger not smaller let me type 20 there right and give it a bit of time you can see that it looks much much better maybe i still need to reduce it maybe to 25 then click on apply and give it a bit of time i think i'm okay with what i have as you can see it's perfect and it has just filtered you know what is appearing on the sheet as you can see from here now the other thing that i can do is to just click on it and i'm able to drag you know this so that i make it smaller these are some of the edits that you can do okay as simple as that you're able to drag you know like that so that you make your schedule smaller depending on what you want okay so i'll not finish it you can go ahead and adjust it accordingly now if i don't want to show the dimensions that are being seen here again this is a feature in revit 2024 if you are using a lower version this feature is not there but everything that we have done here you know in this lesson can be done just except for the bending detail and if you want to learn on how you can use other means of adding a bending detail within your schedule for lower version you can comment there i can show you but those using 2024 you can use it it's a feature within revit so let me remove you know some of the you know i don't want to show the you know the dimensions because they are already shown here okay so again i'll just double click on this one and let me click on edit and if i need to i just need to go is it formatting then select on bending detail then go just go to field properties just click on ok and once you are in this view you just need to now change under the river shape parameters from here just click on show names because i just want to show uh, you know the letters then i can even click on ok now you can even change the the, the, the size even from here as you if you if you want to do that i'll just click on ok just click on ok let me go back here or let me give it a bit of time if i just go back there you see that it's now perfect and this is what i want to show and this is a and b again don't worry if if this is not how you detail you know your bending details in other regions you find that you have a b c d maybe even up to f okay but this code that i'm using i just have to show one and this one meaning that two and as you can see this is shape code 60 okay and the dimensions are there okay so this is how you create your bar bending schedule it's easy in revit and the goodness is that you can customize it according to the region or the code that you are using.